What is this state of consciousness that works on its own accord? When you allow things to happen, you just let the things be and see what happens. In this process you face whatever happens without any discrimination, no judgment. The only thing that matters is your total awareness. This is the state wherein consciousness works on its own code. During this process, all that is negative is released. In this process, Buddha's teaching of anatta or no self is at work. It is so because there is no one behind the actions, no one to express, no one to feel, etc. The meditators are the witness. Once the accumulated actions or impressions are released, clarity, lightness, free flow of energy, and freedom of the being happens spontaneously and naturally. Then you can see that there are two meditative processes working simultaneously. These are elimination and purification and development both in body and mind. Along this process one certainly encounters many problems. When you are open to this type of meditation, all hidden tendencies, repressed feelings, fears and grief come to the surface. Furthermore, when the process takes place and psychological freedom is attained, the meditators get caught up in the game of ego. However, with awareness and guidance, one gets free from this situation and then returns to meditation naturally. Another problem arises when you are too much attached to the negatives or to one's sufferings. However, with the right awareness and instructions, you will gain insights into what is happening. With these, you can move out of such stages of darkness. Also, then you can take steps towards freedom, the liberation. When you are working within the energy field of the Master or working on your own energy in meditation, it is essential for you to be totally open and at the same time willing to surrender. This act of surrendering will help you to go beyond ego and the effects of illusion. This will not allow ego to function, also this will help to nullify the effects of ego. The surrendering becomes important in opening channels. We can also use another metaphor that you are now courteous towards the energy and allow it to function. Being courteous and surrendering is the same thing. Usually when we say surrender, we find difficulty in practicing it. But when we say courteous, it means the same thing, yet still no one finds it difficult. Both means that you have now given up all your struggles for achievements and accomplishments. This way, all goals vanish from the mind. Instead of goals, there is only an opening 
to be experienced. An experience can happen anytime, so you allow it to happen. But remember whatever happens, either in a negative or a positive way, happens because it is bound to happen. There are certain people who are negatively oriented, while others are positively oriented, and the existence requires the balance. So the existence chooses the other pole depending on your orientation. The negative and positive are two poles. How can you really surrender or be courteous? This can be done through awareness and by allowing anything to happen without any interference or getting involved with whatever is happening. This way, this way energy can move through more effectively and whatever negative states are there get cleared. Also when there is free flow of energy in the body and mind, this will lead to the experience of stillness and deep silence. This is the way of transcending any superficial state of consciousness and all this happens because of the energy and not because of your effort to make it happen. When you try to make it happen, there is no true experience. Quite often it becomes the creation of the mind to satisfy itself. So you can be deceived by such mental creations. It is difficult to know which experience is genuine and which is not. But what you can see is the way the experience comes and how you come to experience it. But what you can see is the way the experience comes and how you come to it to this experience. When you have experienced nothingness within, you are not creating or acting, then you are actually one with awareness, which is the essence. Then certainly any experience, negative or positive, will be genuine. This will definitely surprise you as you do not expect any such thing to happen to you. For this it is so important to surrender to energy. This energy is generated when you are totally silent, sitting or walking or doing anything meditatively. Sometimes this energy works through obstacles. This you cannot perceive. Also you get involved in things that obstruct the process of clearing. And then you cannot look beyond the final outcome from such negative states. When you learn to be with awareness more and more, then it gets sharper and clearer. Then you can see the experience or even go beyond the experience of something different. In this state, the duality of the experiencer and the experienced dissolves into one another for the ultimate experience of oneness. This means you are becoming one with awareness. There is another way of saying this, you are becoming one with the existence or the master because master is awareness. You are awareness itself, not the person who is aware. Thus transcending this concept of the person, you allow more and more inner strength, clarity and force. You may call it personal because it is your ability to express and experience naturally. 
with this ability you can remove any inhibitions and then allow the totality of the being to emerge without any interference. It is important to be totally one with awareness at each moment. In this state there is total non-performance at the center of the being while on the surface there may be actions. When this awareness remains like an undercurrent through the movement of your life it becomes a powerful tool which can deal with any problem that you might face or the negative energy. This will allow you to go deeper into the experience very quickly and naturally too. Quite often for surrender we use another word submission. But there is a difference between the two words. The word surrender is used for a spiritual experience. If I can say so for your understanding, while the word submission is used in your day-to-day -day living and in relationships. All masters face one problem. To speak to you, they have to come out of their inner state of being and silence and then use the language for communication. The ultimate experience, which is not an experience in the ordinary sense, cannot be communicated through words. So you listen to this overflow with this in mind. For surrender, no authority is needed to surrender to this energy. And this energy is no authority. You surrender not because you are afraid or you want something or because you want to satisfy something. You simply allow yourself to be there. Surrender is like throwing yourself into the fire. You throw yourself into the fire without any expectation. This act of throwing yourself into something powerful allows you the experience of the self within this energy field. When such energy field is available, you can surrender and thus ends your struggle and your desire to act. Thus, you do not expect any reward or punishment. All you are required to do is just to give yourself totally to this very moment when something is happening.